Hi peeps, welcome back to my channel and to a new series regarding iOS development. In this series, we are going to learn how to implement dark mode in our whole app. And it is based on the former series about UI tab by controller. So in case you have missed out, uh, you can check it out here or in the description box. Other than that, let's see what we'll implement in this episode, which is going to be a toggle for dark mode. And this one is going to switch on and off our whole settings view into a dark mode. Let's dive right into it. And we're going to do that by implementing a dark mode label and dark mode toggle. So I'll have a UI label here and a dark mode toggle here, which is actually a UI switch. Uh, so let's have a function that sets up the dark mode label for us. It's going to add the dark mode label to our view and we want to constrain it as well uh, right underneath the former toggle. So the top anchor is going to be constrained to the detail cell toggles, bottom anchor, bottom anchor, maybe with a constant of 30 and activate that and have a dark mode uh, label center anchor, center X anchor, constrained to the views center X anchor. So it, so it is centered horizontally, right? Just like that. Now, finally, giving it a text, so dark mode label actually, uh, give it a text and let's say dark mode, as well as a uh, text color and let's have it be black. And let's have this function be called as well and rerun our app just like that. Uh, let's see. And we are going to see that it is uh, aligned properly right underneath it. So let's implement our next function, which is going to set up our dark mode toggle, right? So just the same uh, as usual, dark mode toggle uh, translates auto resizing mask into constraints faults. And we want to we want to top constraint or it's top constraint to be constrained to the bottom of the dark mode label uh, and maybe with a constant of 10, right? So there's a little spacing to it as well. And we want to center it uh, horizontally too. And this is going to be the views, the views center X anchor is active true. And that is all we need for it for now. And we can set this function up or fire this setup function actually right there. Hit rerun or hit run to rerun the app. Hit run to rerun the app. And we see both switches are in place. Maybe they're not quite aligned in the center, like uh, vertically. We can make it look like that by saying minus 100 for the details of the label. So everything shifts up a little bit. Let's have a look. That looks way more centered. Cool, but nothing, nothing happens when we click on a toggle. That is because we are missing the uh, function for the dark mode uh, toggle. Actually, yeah, so uh, let's call it dark mode action. And what do we want to uh, execute once that toggle is uh, hit? So we want to say the background, the view's background is actually black, right? And we want to say that the text is white because on black background, yeah. That is that makes sense. So detail cell, uh, detail cell is going to be text color white, and the dark mode label, uh, detail cell label, yeah, and dark mode label is going to be text color white. Now what else? We have the navigation bar and we have the tab bar. So let's do that too. Uh, the navigation bar. Actually, we are accessing the navigation controller with the property navigation controller, which is an optional property of each UI view controller. And if you look up the documentation to it, it says that you are accessing the nearest ancestor in the views contro view controller hierarchy. Uh, that is a navigation controller. And we do have a navigation controller as a parent uh, for that UI view controller. So that's why this property is going to be populated with that view control. So we can access it like that and we can access navigation bar and say it's bar tint color is going to be black. Just the same concept applies to the tab, tab bar controller. Tab bar and that that, that bar tint con uh, color is going to be black. And if we rerun now, nothing will happen because we haven't added the target to our dark mode lo uh, toggle. So let's do that too. Dark mode toggle at target at target self selector is going to be dark mode 
um, action for touch up inside. Now we can rerun and we are going to see that our whole view turned black, uh, but it will not turn white again. If we dark mode on it and off, it stays black. And also we will notice that the navigation text is not white. Uh, so why is that? Yeah, we haven't set the color for the text uh, on the navigation bar and it's no easy way as for the label to say it's just the text color should be uh, white. For example, if we access navigation bar, there is no text color or title text, whatever, but there is a title text attributes, attributes, uh, which is a dictionary. And we can use that to assign a dictionary that has a key value pair where the key says what you want to modify and the value says to what value you want to modify that key. And what we are going to do is we are going to have NS attributed string access the key and say foreground color. The, this key is going to have a UI color uh, white value. Now, when we are recompiling our app, we are going to see that the navigation control indeed has a white title in dark mode. How do we fix it to turn white uh, when we are again toggling it? So you've learned in the format se series that you can that you have access to the toggle if you are optionally also defining parameters uh, or a parameter of the type of whatever you have added the target to, right? You're adding the target to that instance and that instance is of type uh, UI switch. And so this instance itself will pass itself into the function that you're uh, choosing as a selector here uh, when you are actually defining that parameter with the right type of that instance. Now we have access to the instance and we can get is on. Uh, so it's state basically. So if it's on, then we want actually, yeah, we want the dark mode, right? So this is our dark mode when it's on. So we're pasting it in here, else, which is then off, we want everything to be white. So background white, text black, the text black again, navigation should be white, uh, text of navigation should be then black, and the tapa should be white. If we re rerun the app now, we can see that in in <laughs> like indeed uh, the toggle switches on and off the dark mode for settings, but it does not turn it on and off for the whole app yet. Uh, so that means we have we have to implement that in a future episode. For now, uh, the reason why it's not turning it off and off on and off for the other views is because this is an own view controller with, with its own view background color, and this is an own navigation controller of that UI view controller, right? Uh, which is different from that. And the tab, bar, the tab bar remains black because we only have one tab bar in the whole app, right? But we have two UI view controllers with two different navigation controllers and they don't know of each other. And we are going to learn how to implement for the whole app that the whole app actually gets noticed that we're turning on and off dark mode in a future episode. So perfect segue to hit subscribe. Uh, let's modify our code here to a cleaner architecture. So for example, look at that. We have a whole bulk of code and copied and pasted it over here to just reassign some certain values. We can actually make it nicer by defining a struct called a theme, for example, and that is having two properties. One is saying text color, which is of type UI color, and what's, uh, one says background color, which is of type UI color as well. And now what we can do is also here, we can define two static variables. For example, one is saying uh, light, and this one will return an instance of that struct with uh, the, the uh, properties, with the values that is accordingly for a white or actually light mode, which says dark, um, <laughs> which says black for the text color, right? And uh, white for the background color. And the same applies for dark mode. If we are accessing a static variable called dark, we want the whole, the same instance, or actually a new, a new instance with text color actually white and background color black. And what we can do now is up here, we can say, well, let's define a variable, it's called current theme, and this is going to be based on toggle is on. If toggle is on, we want the theme dot dark, and if, if it's not on, we want the theme dot light. So we have the theme with the properties text color and background color in here and based whether or not the toggle is on and off, 
we have either the values uh, text color and background color populated with uh, accordingly uh, the dark mode colors or the light colors. And now we can just copy and paste the whole code here up here, right? And remove everything from down there. Let's remove it. And all we have to say is uh, background color is going to be current theme background color, whatever that is in that state of execution. And the detail uh, text color is going to be current theme text color. And the same applies for that one. And we want the background color for the navigation. We want the text color for the title of the navigation. And we want the background color for the tab bar. And if we rerun now, when the toggle is on, we will get the dark instance, right? So background color is going to be black and text is going to be white. And if we toggle it off, then background color is going to be white and text is going to be black. And that is quite awesome already. And actually, that is also it for this episode. And once again, hit subscribe to not miss out on a future episode when we are implementing it so that the whole app gets notified that we are actually turning on and off dark mode. And also you can check out the description box to download every source code of every video that I do uh, by uh, supporting me on, on Patreon. And I also introduce a new tier where you can actually also get early access to all my apps and games that I'm actually developing, uh, which we are developing actually together in the live streams that I do every couple of days, actually multiple days in a week. And to also not miss out on them, again, subscribe. <laughs> uh, other than that, you can help me out on hitting like if that video was helpful for you. And you're also always welcome to leave a comment if you have any thoughts that you want to share with me. Other than that, I hope I see you in the next one. Bye.